to rescue those hostage. You guys, I'm packing. Everything's chaos. By the way, I'm on a boat still. So, if you didn't hear my other videos, um, there's a boat um, in Dubai. It was Queen Elizabeth's boat. It's called the QE2. Queen Elizabeth II. And, um... I'm here to make a video advertising because they just renovated the boat. So they asked me, would you come by and, and make a video about the boat? But there is one room, which is the captain's room that I want to stay in. And the captain's room is occupied, so uh, I'm waiting for them to leave. So I'm just filming a bunch of content. There's two trips I'm going on where I won't be able to upload while I'm there. Afghanistan. If you're watching this now, then I am in Afghanistan. And you would know that if you follow my Instagram. I post on Instagram periodically. But, um... Yeah, I, uh... If you're watching this, I'm in Afghanistan right now. Um, I can't upload or shouldn't upload while I'm in Afghanistan like the same day I've got to post all of my Afghanistan content after I leave Afghanistan so I kind of am pre-filming so I have things to upload while I'm in Afghanistan but yeah um, I have a few videos to release before my I post my Afghanistan content um, so I thought I'd have you guys pack with me a little bit um, today. Also same for Israel. I'm going to Israel very soon and I won't be posting. I actually have a big problem when it comes to stalkers, like a, a big problem. And my boyfriend's constantly saying to me, please stop, like delay your content, which I usually do, but sometimes I don't. So anyways. So no one really knows where I am in the world at any time. <laughs> but anyways, I'm packing right now. Oh, also I wanted to let you guys know that um, I told you guys I support an orphanage in Afghanistan. And in my initial vlog I posted featuring those kids, so many people asked me, how can I donate to this orphanage? How can I donate to this orphanage? There are a bunch of kids and their, their parents will were killed so their parents were either were killed when the, the US troops were in Afghanistan so what was so heartwarming to me was the fact that they weren't mad at me knowing that Americans killed their parents they were just so loving and kind and I told them I said I promise you I will be back I promise you I'll be back okay and I'm going to come with stuff because it broke my heart. They have one pair of clothes, you guys. They have one pair of socks. They have one pair of sweatpants. They have one coat. They have, And so they're wearing all this random stuff that doesn't even really fit them too well. It's stuff that was donated to Afghanistan from somewhere. So they kind of had to squeeze into whatever fit them the best. So... Also, they go to school, but they have like one pencil. They all have to share it. They've got like one notepad. So I bought three suitcases <laughs> full of, oh, there's so much I have to organize. <laughs> but I bought three suitcases, so I've been packing. So I basically have been getting them like, so they don't have any stationery. Like, how important was it for you as a kid to, like, doodle? And, like, for me, when I was a kid, I loved to doodle. Especially, like, if you pulled up in school with the crayon, with, like, the 168 pack of crayons. Like, you were, like, that was like a Birkin bag. So these kids don't get to have this kind of fun. They are so poor. The country is so poor. They have to share pencils and they have to share 
they can't write and doodle and stuff because they have to, there's only so much paper to go around and stuff so I've been getting them just a bunch of stuff I still have time to go back to get them I'm gonna get a little more stuff um, but I've just been getting them like a bunch of these they're like washable kitty markers um, and I made sure I got them good stuff like I, I didn't go buy crap so I got a ton of these just like markers um, I got a, a bunch of these uh, twistable like crayon packs um, a bunch of just stuff so they can have fun so they can write for fun so they can doodle like type of thing and they all I got I also got a bunch of these like hair clips for the girls I got a ton of stickers I got a ton of really really cute pens I asked them exactly how many girls there were because I got girl I made these little packs for girls and for guys so this is a girl one so I just have a bunch of really cute pens in here like butterfly pens and little panda pens and I love these as a kid where like it changes the color you can pick the color and then I have one for the guys for the boys and then of course I bought them a ton of warm clothes he said they're freezing it's already cold in Afghanistan so I got them a bunch of these kind of warm socks this is kids 13 11 to 13 I got a, the girls a bunch of hats um, and I got a bunch of sweaters I try to get all different sizes because I know they've grown I saw them last in February but I still know that they have grown so um, I'm trying to pack these two suitcases with the good stuff I'm also trying to pack my own stuff <laughs> which is easy because I can only wear a hijab um, I'll show you. If you watch my video, the guy sprayed perfume. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm, that smells so good. But my abayas in here, I got a few and a few. The head wraps in here. Yeah, the scarves. Oh my gosh, I'm closing this back up so the smell stays in there. <gasps> It smells so good. It's that typical Arabic oud, woody, but sweet smell. So, gotta pack that. And I'm just packing my toiletry bags right now. Um, also, the wife of my guide. I said, what does your wife like? He's like, don't buy anything for my wife. Please buy for the kids. I said, what does your wife like? He said, my wife, he finally told me, my wife loves lipsticks. So I went to Hermes because I wanted to treat these people. This is the only stuff they ever get. They don't get to celebrate Christmas. They don't have, they don't get to go shopping. They're just so poor. And so just not in a bad place. They're just in a bad place. So I went to Hermes and I got her a couple lipsticks, his wife. I'm pretty sure nobody in Afghanistan knows what Hermes is, but I just wanted to do something nice. You know when people say, like, if you're going to do something for somebody, don't go to Walmart. There's no Walmart in Dubai, but you know what I mean. If you're going to do something for somebody, get them something nice, even if they don't really know what it is. I'm pretty sure no one knows what Hermes is, but I went to Hermes. And I said, Sh show me your best lipsticks. I have never worn lipstick in my life. Never. So I don't know much about lipstick. So I just said, and the bottles, the, the packaging is beautiful. So I said, show me your best sellers. So he gave me this and he gave me two lip oils. This is for the wife of my guide. Because the women in Afghanistan, they love makeup. They just have nowhere to buy nice makeup. Their makeup they don't have any money first of all so anyways and i got her some face masks <clears throat> for his wife and i got her some i got her a bunch of these like eye things that go under your eyes um and lip masks i have a bunch of these lip 
mask two for her. Oh, so we got a lot to pack here. I'm going to Afghanistan with a lot of stuff, but I'm leaving not with a lot of stuff. All this stuff is for the people. Um, but yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, a lot of people were saying like they wanted to donate. Hey Mary Jane, I wanted to donate to the orphanage in Afghanistan. How can I? So uh, I have this app. I totally forgot about it. It's um, buy me a coffee. So I actually learned about this app in Afghanistan because when I was in Afghanistan, um, I met another tourist. Uh, he said he travels the world too. He's American and he said, I travel from buy me a coffee. I was like, what's buy me a coffee? He's like, it's where people can sponsor you. They can like, it's a sponsoring app. So it's like how you can support somebody. So you can say, buy me a coffee. For one coffee, I'll do this. For two coffees, I'll do this. For three coffees, I'll do this. So I downloaded buy me a coffee and then totally forgot that I had. So I was like, this is the perfect time to use buy me a coffee. So I'll link it down below, my Buy Me A Coffee app. You can go donate. You can buy me one coffee, two coffees, three coffees, whatever. And I get to tell you for each, like if you buy me one coffee, this is what I'll do. Two coffees is what I'll do. Three coffees is what I'll do. So the link is already down below in this video. If And all this is going to the kids of Afghanistan. So if you buy me one coffee, I'm going to thank you in the video. Um, I'm going to thank you. I'm going to... So I, when you buy the coffee, for example, say your name is Ashley. Say, I'm Ashley from Missouri. And that's how I'll address you in my Afghanistan video. I'll say, thank you, Ashley from Missouri, for uh, donating to the kids. <clears throat> for two coffees? I'm going to have the kitties with the stuff I buy them because I'm not going to make them use their own stuff. For the, um, I'm going to have the kitties, if you buy two coffees, they're going to write a little thank you for you. I thought that'd be really cute. So I'm going to give them a piece of paper and they'll write your name. So let's say again, Ashley from Missouri. I'll have the kitties write, thank you, Ashley from Missouri, from whatever their name is. I'll have the kitties write it for you with the stationery I'm getting them. That's for two coffees. Um, say your name is George. Then I'll have the kitties write, Thank you, George, from Pennsylvania, from their name. They'll write you a little paper and they'll hold it up in the video, in my Afghanistan video, just as a thank you for donating to them. And uh, I will show you in the vlog, I'll show myself. Uh, giving the kids money. <laughs> um, I'll show myself giving money to the kids and to the orphanage. Um, not to the kids. Give it to the orphanage for the kids. The kids don't take the money. But anyways, that's what I'll do for two coffees. And I don't really know for three coffees. Listen, anything, I, I can't think of anything else. Anything above two coffees, the kids will write you a thank you and you'll be you will be a part of the video like you'll you'll see your name thank you and the kids will say it I'll have the kids say it they already know I'm doing this I told them <laughs> so um, yeah buy me a coffee link down below if you want to support the kids in Afghanistan and then get yourself a shout out in the video from the kitties um, but if you don't want to be shout out you can give anonymous anonymously to it's optional if you want to write a message um, you can and you can leave your name out so whatever buy me a coffee you can buy me and the kids uh, a coffee you get you get it's the it's the name of the app buy me a coffee you're not really buying coffee you're just supporting the kids so anyways I'll link that down below and I'm just packing right now I just wiped out my um, so this is I have the entire Louis Vuitton travel kit um, 
he bought me the entire like the passport cover the luggage the, the carry and i'm so grateful because before when i was traveling the world that's why i don't know why people are so against luxury some luxury stuff is ridiculous like i'm not even gonna front some t-shirts are crap and they're like it's 800 dollars t-shirt but i love luxury travel stuff now i mean i didn't buy it but i love it because before when i was traveling i was using you know regular stuff and i would go through stuff constantly because i am a serial traveler so i would constantly be going through makeup bags constantly going through uh, cosmetic bags constantly going through suitcases and going through stuff i this will last me years and years and years and years and i don't know i highly recommend it <laughs> like, okay. i mean i know it's expensive but you only have to buy it once like this stuff lasts for years and years and years and years and it doesn't ever look dusty and old like this is pretty it's not even that beat up and you can clean it so i just need to pack it um and thank you baby for my travel set i have all of the 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 whole all the little baggies um from louis vuitton um and this stuff lasts so it's like i i definitely have spent less money on little containers and packing cubes and all that because you don't need to buy it again so i am about to set off on some really really it's not going to be dubai life that's why i was soaking in luxury dubai life because i know i'm about to go back out into the wild <laughs> i'm going back to afghanistan I'm going to Pakistan, I'm going to Israel, and I'm, I'm going to be back out there. So I was like, let me, let me stock up on all my stuff, all my nice stuff. I know I'm not going to be able to get, so. Um, Tatcha just came to Dubai, and I'm so happy because I love Tatcha, and they only sold it in the U.S. before. So I got my favorite, this is a makeup melt. It melts your makeup, face makeup. And then I got my favorite Tatcha face cream. Lo this is the best face cream in the world. Nothing makes my skin feel the way. And I feel like my skin is skinning. Like, my skin looks beautiful. It's so clear. Anyways, I think my website is still, I don't know. I shut my website down because I needed to catch up on orders, but... I don't know if by the time you're watching this video, the website will be a backup. If it is, I'll link down below um, the rose oil and the camel milk. Those are the two available things I have on my website. Um, but anyways, the Tatcha cream. And I've got a mini travel one so I can put this in. This is just what I actually bring on the plane. This is what I actually bring on the plane. This is what I pack in my suitcase. So this is just a travel version of the face cream. Best face cream in the world. It makes your skin. Oh my gosh. So then I also have a travel version of one of my favorite face washes. The Tatcha. This is the mini size. So the mini size is going here. So I can bring it on the plane in case any problems. Uh, one of my favorite face washes goes in here my shampoo this is my favorite shampoo from Kerastase they gifted this to me and th it goes with the heat protectant and thermal treatment like it's a heat protectant and frizz treatment to me it's better than color wow and then my favorite product of all time I need to go get a couple more of these the glycolic acid and the ordinary goes in there this is done this is I'm about to throw this away it's done and I'm gonna get another one yeah she's done this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners Nutra Plenish leave-in conditioner from Aveda and it's so good 
Leave-in conditioners are key because I always have my hair straightened. So, yeah. Then I've got one of my favorite body lotions. I actually haven't been using body lotion for a long time. I use rose oil on my body. Um, and if I'm not using rose oil, I'm using some kind of oil. So I, I cover myself. I think this is available on my website. I don't know what day this video is going up. Um, but if it is, I'll link it down below. This Listen, when I tell you, you, you take a shower, you get out of the shower, you cover yourself with this rose oil, and you feel like the queen of Sheba. You feel like you're Queen Elizabeth. You feel like you are some kind of royal. The way this makes your skin feel, especially when you wake up, and the smell, because this is made from red roses, 100% natural. There's no dye in here. They squeezed red roses and made oil. That's it. And it, some of the best roses are grown here in Dubai. So I cover myself in this oil at nighttime, every night. And my skin, when I tell you, I don't want to be that girl, but I have some of the softest skin in the world, honestly. And it's smooth and blemish free. And it just, I just have baby skin because I cover myself in oil. Um, but if I don't have, if I can't get a hold of that rose oil, I just cover myself in coconut oil. Somewhere around here. Oh, <laughs> the camera's on the coconut oil. <laughs> the camera's on the coconut oil. But sometimes I use lotion. But to me, oil is better. But anyways, if I do use lotion, I love this one. Um, the Elasti Cream. Actually, I'm not even going to say I love it because I've only been using it for like two and a half weeks. But I do like it so far. I like it so far. It's supposed to be really good if you have bumpy skin. I don't have bumpy skin, but um, everyone was saying it's so good I wanted to try. So anyways, got that, got that. In my little travel, this is what I bring on the plane with me, this one. So, uh, I've got my favorite concealer, which is the Fenty Skin Concealer. So my, the only makeup I wear is concealer. I wake up, wash my face, put concealer here, 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 here. And then I put mascara on. That's my makeup routine. So I have a bunch of concealers. It's the only makeup I wear. But the I literally don't use them at all. <laughs> I have Best Ever Skin from Sephora. Never used it. I have Bare Minerals Concealer. Never used it. Um, is that it? That's all the concealer I have. Because the only one I use is the Fenty Skin. It's the best one. Love it so much. And then... Oh, yeah. Also love, I use this to slick my hair down from Aesop. It's the Aesop Sculpt Hair Polish. I like it because it will like keep my edges down. But you can't put too much because, I don't know, just, I don't know what's going on here. Sometimes I like edges, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just want my hair to be back. Okay. Right. Okay. Then. Oh. Okay, it didn't spill. I have the honey infused hair oil. The little travel version. I put that in there. This leave in conditioner I love. I got it in Egypt. Then. My niacinamide. We'll go in the big one. Um. A face mask, I love salicylic face mask. Um, uh, it did spill, no, it didn't. An eyebrow pencil here from a Dubai makeup brand. Uh, I got it as a gift. Um, okay, we're almost done here packing the two ordinary serums. Another ordinary serum that I love. Uh, this bond repair, I'll go here. It's like a leave-in styler. One of my favorite pawpaw. 
It's Papa Lip and Cheek. It's like an orangey reddish color. I'm one of those people who, if it looks like I have anything on my lips, I don't like that. I like, if it's going to tint my lips, I want it to look like so natural. Anyways, I don't know. Love that paw paw. And that's basically it. I'm going to wrap these rose oils because I'm the queen of having things spill. And then I'm going to pack away the face mat. <laughs> the face masks and neck masks I have for the girls. For the girls, we've got a ton. Spilling stuff got a ton in here in my purse I am the queen of having like one time I was on a flight and my lips were chopped and I literally was having a panic attack because there's nothing I could do about it I was looking through my purse and I could not believe I didn't have any lip product on me I couldn't believe it and I was it was a long flight ever since that flight I said to myself, I promise you, Mary Jane, this will never happen. I keep feeling like I keep seeing something out there. Anyways, Jesus is with me. <laughs> Some bad idea. Um, I promise myself, I will never have this happen again. Never again will I be in a situation where my lips are chapped on a flight and there's nothing I can do about it. It was the worst experience ever. So anyways, now I keep about 500 lip products on me at all times because I'm terrified of that happening. I want to show you guys my favorites. So this Walita Skin Food one is okay. It's okay. Uh, it was really expensive. This little thing was like $8. And I've used it like three times because like I said, it was okay this is the best one I've ever bought I'm so excited to go back to Japan I go back to Japan soon I'm so excited because this was one dollar I bought this is just Japan it was literally one dollar I bought it in a convenient like a little drugstore in Japan and this is the best lip product I've ever used in my life it melts my lips when I tell you immediately it melts my lips and makes my lips so, so, so soft. I bought this back in March when I was in Japan. And guess what? I will be back in Japan uh, literally in like a week and a half. And I'm buying tons more because it was $1. And it's the best out of all of these. And some of these you'll see are really expensive. Um, this one is the Fenty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. This is like a 6 out of 10. I like it. I like it. Um, I like it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's pretty. It feels good. So yeah, 6 out of 10. Um, this is Road from Hailey Bieber. No offense to her. We love a girl boss, but I was expecting a lot from... Let me check. I was expecting a lot from this lip product and it disappointed me because it's not good. The only thing I like about it is the fact that it tastes good. This is, mmm, it smells good too. That's the only thing I like about it. It smells good and it tastes good. So, um, this is the carrot. Whoops. This is the caramel something. I don't know what it's called. Salted caramel. It's the only thing I like about it. It's not like an amazing lip balm, but it does taste good. Like literally, I'm tasting it right now and it tastes like 
like sugar. <laughs> That's what I like about it. And if you, I'm like, do I go there? Do I be, do I be, gra should I be graphic right now? If you have a boyfriend, then that's a good lip gloss because if you kiss your boyfriend, your lips will be sweet <laughs> and they'll smell good. So, or husband. Um, this one I also love from J Japan is just the best place on earth. This was also, I think about five bucks. I'm almost gone. I'm trying to save it. This is made from yuzu and it's so good. This is from, I bought this in Kyoto. If you watch my Japan vlogs, then you saw me buy this. This is so good. I'm going, oh my gosh, I'm going to be back in Japan very soon to get more because Japan just has the best stuff ever. This is also from Aesop, the Pro protective lip balm. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm never, it makes your lips white. Like, I hate it so much. Maybe because it has SPF in it. I don't know, but I hate it. And this is again the pawpaw. It's a lip tint and cheek tint. So you can put it on your lips and your cheeks because it's tinted red. Love that. This is the Summer Fridays. This one was just ridiculous to me. Summer Fridays Lip Butter in Vanilla. Maybe it's good, but I don't care because it's so expensive. This lip balm is $35. It just pisses me off. I mean, I know I still bought it. <laughs> I still bought it. I don't care. Maybe it is good. It's good, but it just pisses me off the price. Like, it makes me really mad. Like, how dare you be $35? Like, who do you think you are? That's good. I love this one. I use this all throughout the day. Brazilian Kiss. It's kind of just like a, one of those stick bombs. Also, I don't like how much is in here. Like, there's not enough. And it's expensive, too. But I just like the smell of this. Then this one I bought in Urban Outfitters. I don't know because I never used it to be honest with you. And then this one from Gisu. This just makes you feel like a fancy woman. I love the color. It kind of gives off a like yellowish color. I love this one and it's a gloss so it's going to give you that gloss. This one was really expensive. Like this lip gloss. I think it's $40, especially in Dubai. It's more expensive in Dubai than it is in the United States. But it just makes you feel so fancy and it's made out of glass and it's heavy. So like, I don't care about the price because you just feel like a Barbie putting it on like, you know? So I don't care about the price of that one because I don't know, I don't see myself buying it a lot. You don't, I don't know. And then this is the bell of the ball. I bought this for my guide's wife when I go to Afghanistan, but I bought one for myself too because he, the guy was selling it to me so well. I said, you know what, I'll take one too. So this is the Hermes lip oil and it's tinted. It's every, this lip gloss is everything. Mm, it smells like cherries. So this is the Hermes lip oil. And it just makes you feel like a fancy girl. Mm. So yeah, love that. And then this one is a, a big favorite of mine. This matches me, my skin, and what I'm wearing. It's from the Laneige. It's the chocolate. I love this one so much because it smells like chocolate. Like, there's no way to distinguish chocolate and this if you smell both they it smells like chocolate and it's so moisturizing you put it all over your um it's almost gone i need another one boom so those are my lip products the best one is the one dollar one i got from japan <laughs> this one and that says baby lip baby yeah it says baby balm so this is for babies. I don't care. I bought it. It was one dollar, and it this all of these fancy ones. This is the best one, honestly. And the second best one is the other one from Japan. You just melt your lips, and this is has yuzu in it, so it smells so good. It smells citrusy. 
Mm, I'll be back, Japan. And then the third best one is maybe this one. But it's not a lip gloss. It's like just a stick. Mmm, smells good. So, yeah. Oh, also, I'm not getting sick. Oh, I'm not, it's, it's not going to happen again. So I've been using this Manuka Oral Spray every day. This was expensive. But apparently it's got the Manuka honey in it. I was like, why was this so expensive? They're like the honey. The honey from New Zealand. I'm like, I don't care where the honey came from. But they say you spray this and you never get sick because I was told... My guy told me, hey, everyone's sick here because it's cold. The cold weather just came to Afghanistan, so everyone is sick. I said, okay, good to know. I'm coming with all of my stuff. I'm not getting sick. Yep, not me. Mm -mm, they ain't gonna get me sick again. No. No. So then now I'm packing all my camera equipment. I've got so many cameras. And this time, so this time, last time I was so upset that I... So... I was so upset because last time I was in Afghanistan, I forgot my Instax. And I was like, how could I possibly forget that? The instant camera. And I went and got a ton of the little film because I need to take a bunch of... In I also have another real, like, professional instant camera. Um, because... And I just thought what I could do for three coffees. So, f with for the buy me a coffee... If you buy me one coffee, then I will shout you out in the video. I'll say thank you, Ashley from North Dakota, for supporting the kids in the orphanage. I'll put you in the video like that. For two coffees, the kids are going to write you a little thank you. A little drawing that says thank you, Ashley from North Dakota, and they'll show it in the video. For three coffees, I'm going to take a picture with the kitties holding that sign and send it to you. So you have your own little picture of the kids you helped. So if you buy three coffees, I'll take a picture, me and the kitties holding the sign that says your name. Thank you, George. They'll draw it, we'll hold it, take a picture, and I'll send it to you in the mail, the picture. So you have a little picture yourself. That's what I'll do for three coffees. I was like, what do I do for three coffees? So anyways, uh, if you want to be a part of the Afghanistan video, you can buy a coffee. You can also give anonymously if you don't want to be shout out. But if you want to be shout out in my Afghanistan video, you can buy the, a coffee. Buy us a coffee. Um, so anyways, I need to finish packing. There is a lot going on here. Like, a lot. Also, I bought a lot of socks and underwear, which I'm not going to show because... Obviously, the reason they told me they really needed socks and underwear. Like, the girls need underwear. They don't have any. I was like, that's tragic. Tragic. I've also bought a bunch of pads. They don't really have pads in Afghanistan. And a lot of those girls, they're getting their periods. So, they use cloth and all that kind of stuff. So, I bought a ton of pads. Um, oh, and yeah, so... I just got a lot of stuff to make the kitties happy. So I just need to pack right now. Um, if you're watching this, I'm already in Afghanistan. And I'm so excited. We got some... I needed that time in Dubai to like... Get work done. Chill. Enjoy before I'm... Back out into the thick of this travel game, right? Back to Afghanistan. Back to Israel. And then out to new countries so I can work on my goal. Um... And I'll be in Japan soon as well. We got some exciting stuff coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.